Good morning. Welcome to COMM 110, Effective Speaking. My name is Judy Lairhaupt, and I am your instructor. I come to you with a very eclectic background. I completed my undergraduate degree at NYU with a degree in theater education, directing minor. My master's degree is from Teachers College, Columbia University, and it is in speech pathology. I have over 35 years of teaching experience. This includes running a drama school in Yardley, Pennsylvania, teaching voice and speech at a performing arts high school, working at Bristol Riverside Theater as their voice coach, running a private practice in speech pathology, voice, speaking voice therapy, and accent modification. When not in involved in working in communications and teaching, I run a small farm in Bucks County where I raise a rare breed of sheep nine chickens, a black and white cat, two black and white dogs. They're border collies, and I train them. I'm delighted to be working with you all this semester and hope that at the end of this course, you will be smiling when you get up to speak. The purpose of this course is to apply the models of communication process to public speaking to demonstrate an understanding of the speaker and listener ethical responsibilities, to practice and prepare various patterns of informative and persuasive speech organization, prepare and deliver various types of speeches, research speech topics and develop and support your ideas, and evaluate the effectiveness of yourself and peers' speeches. This course is designed as a hybrid course, and that means that, means that we will be meeting face-to-face -face once a week and that the other class will be online. Be sure that you check your email, your Bucks email daily, and your Canvas space daily for communication from me. Complete all your assignments due before the face-to-face -face class, Come to the face-to-face -face class weekly. Your attendance there is essential in order to pass this class. There are three required speeches. One speech must be informative. One speech must be persuasive. The third speech will be a tribute speech. All speeches will include research, an outline, and citation of sources using a bibliography in APA or MLA format. The tribute speech or commemorative speech will be three to five minutes long. The informative speech will be a minimum of eight minutes and no longer than 10. The persuasive speech will be a minimum of eight minutes and no longer than 12 minutes. You will effectively use either PowerPoint Prezi, or some other form of communication technology in a minimum of one speech. Speeches must be presented on their due date. Your speeches will be recorded with a video camera, and then you, they will be uploaded to YouTube. You will watch them complete a self-evaluation. That self-evaluation will be due to me before the next class. Okay, here are your expectations or my expectations and the college's expectations. All three speeches must be completed to pass the class. If you miss any of the main speeches, you will fail this class. It is expected that you will have a reliable computer internet connection, and that you understand how to use both. Move through the models, sorry, move through the modules. Pay special attention to the chapter directions. Don't get behind on your work. Adhere to due dates. Check the to-do, the to-do 
on the home page and upcoming also on the home page to see what to do and what's coming up. It's a good way to keep track of what your responsibilities are. You're responsible for the requirements stated here in other course material and the current BCCC Bucks County Community College catalog. It's your responsibility to communicate with your instructor regarding missed assignments, tests, general coursework, problems, special needs, or just the class in general. Any assignments handed in must be of college, university quality, typed 12 point, Times New Roman, Arial font, double spaced, one inch borders, labeled, properly contained. APA or MLA format is preferred. Late assignments will not be accepted. No speech paper is to demean, discriminate, threaten, or exploit any individual group, gender, or belief system. This course requires that you already have the following prerequisites. A writing placement test score of six or better, an introduction to academic writing, links, I'm sorry, it says here, <laughs> That this is that this links to the site, but I'm speaking, so there's no link. Comp 107, a C or better. During this course, you will need to make sure you have access to Canvas. You will find the syllabus by clicking the word syllabus in the left hand corner in the left hand column on the home page, and you will find the course schedule there as well. You will find the instructions for your assignments and the rubrics for grading within each assignment. And each assignment will be in a module. The class works in modules from week to week. It's also important for everyone in the class to get to know each other and start building connections early. Please go to, to the discussions area under class introductions and post a new message. Say your name as the subject line and then share some information about yourself. If you need an, a sample, uh, take a look at the beginning of this video. If you have any questions or concerns during the course, please know that I want to see you succeed. It's very important to me that you complete the course. The preferred method, method of sharing your concerns and questions is to contact me through the inbox in Canvas. Please include your name and a clear description of your concern. You may also reach me via my cell phone, and that is included in the course information. I hope you will enjoy the course. I look forward to having you in class.